Hello tarot lovers, this is Mervet from the Egyptian Mystic. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, join me today on this video, which is a video response to Jonathan Daly at uh, Dracovid, uh, which is about uh, the last 10 uh, decks that uh, I purchased. I find this topic so interesting and it's a chance to share with you my latest decks. And uh, this is the first deck I wanted to show you. It's the Forest NB Tarot, and this is an indie deck by uh, Binks Olsen. And it's one of the most, uh, the cutest decks that I have seen. Look at the box. And uh, it has this beautiful uh, light rose color. And the cards are just gorgeous, gorgeous, really. This is the small, uh, this is the guidebook, this small uh, pamphlet. And the cards are just stunning. Let me show it to you. These are the backs, so pretty with this light rose with brown. The color uh, palette is just gorgeous and it's gilded in silver. And the cards are really a pleasure to see. Look at the colors, how they are beautiful. The cards and the choice of colors is just stunning. Really, I was so excited to get this deck and i just received it i'm so happy that i have it so that is the fool and uh, the magician very cute and this is the high priestess uh, i don't think that you can see clearly the cards because it is this is the cute empress because the colors are so pale I hope the camera can uh, can catch uh, the, the the I mean um, let you see the colors how beautiful they are and this is the emperor and the hierophant it's so cute so well thought of and look at this uh, the the um, lovers and the the with the signs the astrological signs the two entwined uh, uh, serpents very pretty and this is the chariot very cute really it's a beautiful deck and the strength card so beautiful and this is the hermit it's a cute deck really very cute and this is the, the justice hanged man so beautiful and the death i mean the colors are just great i bought it because of the artwork the artwork is really stunning i felt uh, attracted to it immediately because i really like uh, bright colors attract me but this is uh, so elegantly uh, chosen the colors are so elegant and they match very well and when you really have the cards in your hands you will love them i love this deck and uh, this, uh, so happy that I got it. And it's a Rider Waite Smith, easy to read deck. And um, I think um, if I do, uh, look at these colors. If I do a video about my cutest decks, this is one of them. It is so cute and adorable. Really, I love it. This is the Four of Cups, the Five of Cups. And the six of cups. Really, you need to have the cards in your hand. I don't know if the camera is showing the the colors or not, but really, it's so attractive. And uh, this is the sage of cups, and the monarch of cups is the king. And then here are the swords. Look at this. And this is the um, uh, accompanying the. Uh, um, how do you call it? My God, I forgot. The spades. These are the spades. So it there are correspondences with the playing cards. It's full of symbols um, and a lot of details. But really, because of the colors are so uh, pale, uh, so you cannot. I cannot capture it by the camera. And then here are the beautiful suit of coins because it's all in this beautiful uh, green. And green is my favorite color. I like it so much. So it is really adorable. This is the six of coins. Adorable. A very cute deck. And I really love it. And so happy that I got it. Look at this one. The page. The knight. 
It's like a magical forest full of beautiful uh, small animals. And really, I love, I love this deck. So that's how it looks. The backs, adorable. And I love to show it to you this way because you will then see the beautiful color combination of the cards. So that was the first deck I wanted to share with you, which is an indie deck, the Forest MB. And then I have this uh, deck, the Tarot Noir, and this is an out of print, adorable, great uh, uh, Marseille deck. And I had uh, I, I had an eye for this deck for a very long time, sorry. And uh, when I found it on eBay, I just got it without hesitance. It is a great, luxurious deck. It's so good quality. Look at the cards, so large like this with these adorable bags. It is glossy and it is gilded in gold. Elegant and classy and beautiful deck. Marseille deck. The cards are so large as you see. And I fell in love with this deck when I saw it on one of the channels. And I tracked it. I wanted to buy it really uh, very much and when I found it on eBay and it was not cheap I got it but I'm so happy to have it because having the cards in your hand really I wanted to have a beautiful uh, Marseille deck I have many of Marseille decks but um, not much I read more with Rider Waite Smith system but uh, this is my favorite uh, Marseille deck. I love it so much. It's so elegant. It's so uh, beautiful. High quality. And look at this. The ones. I really love it. It's a beautiful, beautiful deck. Very nicely made. And I don't know since when it it's there. I haven't looked at the book because I just received it. But um, I don't see it a lot. It's I maybe I saw it once or twice on one of the channels, but not more than that. So it is one of those decks that are very nice out there and uh, it's out of print. But I would really love to see more of these decks. And when I see uh, I have one of these decks, I like to share it with you because I'm I'm I really can say that I have a lot of decks. I have more than 600 decks and many of them are uh, rare and uh, out of print. And I prefer these decks that are not seen a lot because um, I like the decks that are uh, rare. I like the decks that um, are not shown a lot. And so uh, you will find in my channel many of these interesting decks if you are uh, really uh, interested to see. And uh, these are the pentacles. And then here are the rest of the cards. Adorable, adorable deck, the Tarot Noir. And it is a pleasure to have it because it is very, very good quality. Great, great deck. And then my second, my third deck is this one this oracle magical dimensions by light star and it's a nice oracle uh, very nice i i haven't also seen it a lot and it comes just a second it comes in this beautiful box i think it's shiffer by shiffer and uh, no it's by light star and uh, the the guidebook is colored as you see with lots of spreads and uh, these cards are meant to activate these are activation cards also and they have this energy of um, uh, how can I say it it's like connected connecting you to the universe it is um, enlightening and it is really very pretty these are the gorgeous bags beautiful beautiful i could not help it i really immediately when i got it i uh, edged it and look at how it turned out to be very elegant i did it in a very nice way this is metallic purple i used uh, let me show you the one i used this is the one i used metallic purple very good quality and it turned out very nicely the cards are glossy but they are really very pretty, very beautiful. 
and uh, it has some many cards are collage and uh, digital uh, artwork and uh, it is very pretty I like it so much but you really have to uh, spend some time with the cards I haven't used it for readings I just opened the, the deck and had a look at the cards and um, it is very nice and I immediately uh, edged it and uh, I think I wanted to uh, I was thinking to pair it with one of these decks that are astrology based because it gives me the feeling of uh, how do you call it I feel this energy of angelic energy or universal energy it's not an earth uh, earth uh, it ha doesn't have earth energy it is more air energy I feel it more and it has this sort of dreamy feel and uh, really the cards are very pretty and I love those borders that are you know uh, like um, different tones of colors uh, together I like it so much and there then some of the cards are uh, connect you to the chakra to your chakras and as you see they are very pretty and uh, the images are a little bit small, but you you want to uh, to have a look at the background. The background is very inviting, and um, it is a beautiful, beautiful deck. It's the Magical Dimensions Oracle. These are the beautiful backs, and the cards are really beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Really, very, very nice. So that was my third deck and then I had this from Amazon this is the Visconti di Modron Tarot I have the Visconti uh, the, uh, another deck uh, Visconti deck but uh, I got this one because I love the quality and the deck is gorgeous I saw it in one of the channels and I really wanted to buy it it's by Los Carabeo it's a reproduction of the deck the famous Visconti uh, Sforza deck, but in a very elegant uh, quality by Los Caribio. This is the box. It opens this way. And the guidebook, as you see, is like this. Colored images. It's high quality. Very beautiful. It was not cheap. I think it was about $70, something like that. But the cards are just stunning. They are so large. I really need to... Uh, do like this so that you can see the cards look at the cards in your hands they are so good so large look very thick deck very large these are the bags with this uh, pale color I did not edge it but I'm planning to do so and the cards are just stunning really gorgeous the quality is superb a great deck and look at the gold foil it's one of those beautiful beautiful decks I think I'll do it like this better so that you can see the cards more I I didn't work with it at all I just uh, had a look at the cards and immediately this is the la latest one that I got I said well I have to share it with you really this is the chariot and the justice card and the hermit a beautiful adorable deck i hope i have uh it's not close to me the other deck the the older version but uh, if you are interested i can do side by side uh comparison look at this beautiful beautiful temperance the cards really uh really really the cards are so good and the camera is not giving justice to the cards and if you have them in your hand you will really believe how beautiful they are look at this gorgeous star it's adorable it's one it's really i can congratulate los carbio they really did a great job the 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 quality is superb and this is the judgment card and this is the word uh, the glare the gold foil is so shiny that you can really not see clearly 
so these are the gorgeous cards these are the court cards and they are uh, as i got them i did not do anything with it you see silver and gold these are the, the cups really stunning really it is stunning and then the court cards i don't know if the camera let me do this maybe better like this and look at the cards just gorgeous gorgeous really and this is the which what is this one i think this is the court card of i can't see exactly which one is this i tell i told you i just oh yes the, the suit of coins the suit of coins the queen and the, i did not i just saw it once and i did not work with it and still the cards are sticking together so these are the coins they are so shiny look at the quality just superb really you have to check this deck out before it's uh it's out of print because it is really very nice great quality great classic deck i'm so happy that i got it and this is the page knight queen and king of cups and then here are the other uh, cards i can't i don't know what is this i'm just showing you the cards but uh, as i told you i haven't used it i was just happy that i got it so i'm sharing with you with you for the maybe the first time i'm looking at these cards for the first time i just saw some of the first uh, measures but the rest of the cards i has not i haven't seen so this is i mean the quality is superb i really uh, need to show you look at this one how shiny they are and how nicely done they are look at this amazing queen my god and these are the ones as you see and then the court cards i think there are extra cards i think there are extra court cards i think so so uh, anyhow i wanted to show you this deck like this but i will definitely do a comparison side by side this deck and the other uh, copy that i have so that was the adorable visconti modron taro by los carabeo great great deck and i really highly recommend it and then i have this one i got this deck the dream uh, keeper Staro by uh, Liz uh, Hudson and I like this deck very much I saw it on some channels and um, the box is super it's great very good quality and the guidebook is nice as you see I haven't read the deck uh, read the guidebook I haven't worked with the deck yet and then I just got this pouch to keep the cards I even didn't uh, didn't um, didn't look a lot at the cards. I just trimmed it, uh, edged it. Sorry, when I got it because I fell in love with the bags, so beautiful, and I edged it in this uh, green color. And the cards, I love the artwork so much. It's so um, creative. It's so um, smart. It's not a clone. It's a Rider Waite Smith, but there are lots of uh, deck uh, cards that are very, very nicely depicted. Uh, much more than the Rider. Look at this one, the Hermit. The cards are stunning, and this is the 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 Fates, which is the Wheel of Fortune. This is an adorable, great, smart deck, really. But I just feel. Look at this one, the Temperance. The, like the puzzle this is an intuitive deck and a very beautiful deck and i really highly recommend it it reminds me somehow by the um, mystical moments tarot there is something uh, in this card the uh, deck that reminds me with it so it's a beautiful deck i just feel that the colors are a little bit pale but i think it's a pleasure to work with this deck an intuitive deck i like those decks that are not clones look at this beautiful 
uh, nine of cups i like these decks that are not clones and uh because you know there are many rider weight smith clones over there and um it's just to acquire more uh, pretty decks but i like these decks that are that uh, you learn something new it is um it is smart it is creative it is uh, very intelligent and very cleverly done a beautiful beautiful deck so this is one of those decks that i really like and i'm very happy that i got the dream keeper tarot and it reminds me somehow by the mystic tarot of the mystical moments it's have this uh, green is the dominant color the artwork is some somehow reminds me of it and these are the gorgeous bags and i edged it in this pretty green so that was another deck that i purchased and then i got also this deck which is the uh, astrology heavenly bodies i like astrology and it's my passion even before uh, tarot i love astrology and this box and the book and the the deck is just stunning it's so good really and uh, it's very nicely written and if you are one of those who would love to know about astrology this is a perfect deck the cards are gorgeous and as you see it comes in two boxes one for the the whole deck and another for the cards and it is a stunning deck really these are the bags i haven't edged it but it's a little bit pale but it is beautiful the sun the moon mercury venus and there is a small uh small uh keyword which is very nice it is the artwork is so good really i like it so much and the quality is very nice it is uh, not uh, shiny it is it slips it's very slippery not slippery i mean nicely very nice to shuffle look at the card i mean it is great it's a great deck the quality is very very nice and the cards are really gorgeous there are the houses and how, uh, the, the signs if they are fixed or uh, communicator or communicator or a leader and then so it will give you a very nice idea about uh, about astrology so it is and then here are the conjunction and opposition this uh, these are the words that you always hear and sometimes you don't know that's how the planets are working at this time the energy of the planets together so and then here the elements earth fire and uh, water i don't know if you can see clearly or not i th it is pale so that's why you might not be able to see uh, the images a lot and here is the yin and yang cards i shuffled it so it's not in order now anymore but it's a beautiful 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 deck really i highly recommend it it's one of the best astrology decks and then jupiter is the card that i picked so that's a good sign and then uh, let me show you uh, what else I think what else yes I got this deck which is the Disney uh, villains tarot deck and I love this deck so much it's about all these uh, Disney figures and the book the box is so beautiful the combination of purple and green is just adorable because I love colors as I told you and I'm I highly I'm always highly attracted to colors and this is the small guidebook like this colored pictures and uh, images and the cards are so cute these are the backs the purple uh, wild and bright purple and look at what i did i did a very good job of edging the deck like this i think this is edged like a pro so i'm proud of what i did look at the cards like this they look really beautiful i love my edging and um, the cards are so pretty with all these figures i haven't worked with it uh, but i'm i love it 
I like it so much and I like these decks that connect you to the, your inner child. I have a couple of decks uh, from this style. Maybe I can uh, show them together in one of my videos. And um, this is Rapunzel. And then here is the Beauty and the Beast. Many, many figures. Uh, the characters are main characters of our the stories and movies that we uh, have seen when we were young. And uh, like this, the cards look very pretty. The quality is nice. I really like the quality. I like the combination of colors. It's a beautiful, cute deck. And I'm really happy that I got it. And it's not expensive. It's still in Amazon. Uh, there is also Alice in Wonderland, uh, which I wanted to purchase, but I haven't decided yet because I have a couple of decks for uh, Alice. But um, it's the same uh, quality and I wanted to have a collection of these decks that are all based on stories. So uh, I got this and then later I will maybe next month or something uh, I will purchase it. So these are the beautiful cards. I really like it so much. This is a beautiful deck and I really highly recommend it. Backs, edging and the colors are so pretty. It still uh, it sticks a little bit because I haven't worked with it, but I think it's easy to shuffle. So that was the villains tarot deck, and then I got this beautiful uh, oracle, the wings of wisdom oracle by uh, Alana Fairchild, and I love her. I have most of her decks, and uh, because I'm collecting her decks. I saw it on uh, on a bookstore and I couldn't help it. I bought it. It's so cute and beautiful. You see, all of these cards are very nice with a small advice at the back. And they are so pretty, really. I uh, They are not in order, but I uh, wanted to edge it in different colors. So I looked at the cards and I put all the yellow together like this. And then the green cards. It's so cute. My God, it's so pretty, really. And then the blue, because I wanted to edge uh, the deck in different colors with different light colors and... It is a beautiful deck about dragons, birds, and uh, many small uh, small uh, things. Like here, the praying mantis, the turkey, the firefly. I mean, uh, many uh, creatures, small creatures. And I like it so much. It's so beautiful, really. This is a beautiful, friendly deck. You see all the backs, they have like advice and uh, you don't read, uh, you, you really don't need a guidebook. It's enough to have a look at the cards. And uh, this is a very cute, relaxing deck. Really, it's so relaxing. It's, it fills you with positive energy. It is a wonderful deck. I'm really very happy that I got it. This is the Wings of Wisdom by Elena Fairchild Oracle. And I got the latest decks are these. This is the Relative Tarot by Carrie Paris. This is a deck that I got from Amazon. And I have not worked with the deck. But it is very good quality. And I read some reviews about it. It's like a vintage deck. And it uh, it's written that it connects you to your uh, ancestors. And uh, the cards are beautiful good quality these are the bags this pale beige and it is glossy it's gilded in gold and it is very nice uh, it has a strange energy it's a powerful deck really powerful and these are three cards for the lovers i still need to look at the book and read uh, the deck. This is a deck that really is powerful and uh, you can't work with without reading the, the guidebook. So uh, the moment I saw the cards, I wanted to, to work with it, but then I felt, no, I really need to read the guidebook first. So uh, 
it is it has a very special energy it's different than many other decks it's it it feels like vintage and which is good because it it connects you to your uh, to your uh, ancestors i know i understand but it is not an easy deck uh, for beginners but i think so and um, i love these uh, figures that look very old and uh, very nice it's different than many decks a new approach different approach to tarot and really you need these decks that are uh, different because the the more of these decks that you see and you get you are in contact with you m and, and absorb the idea of uh, the tarot much more and more and look at these two and here these are the coins i love the the colors it's all pale and all uh, images uh, vintage old people from last century for example i don't know and um i haven't worked with it i can say nothing about it but i'm happy that i got it i saw uh, some reviews that talked about it very nicely and i'm very eager to start working with it so that was the relative uh, tarot by uh, let me read the name by carrie paris so the last deck that i want to show you is this deck the everyday enchantment tarot and this is a deck that has been there for a long time poppy plain i think it has been around for maybe like three years uh this deck i had i went through it for a while i tried to work uh i read the first uh, couple of uh, de cards i haven't finished it yet this is the guidebook and it comes in this beautiful box by poppy palin let me get out the cards they are really very large and um, I edged the deck in different colors let me show you so these are the cards these are the backs so colorful and bright it's large it's a big uh, large deck and I edged it in different colors uh, all the the measures are uh, in black the ones in red cups in blue and swords in purple and the earth in green and this is a very modern deck that some people like this style it's everyday enchantment so you see uh, incidents that happen every day like here the mother with her children uh, this is like your boss in uh, at work and uh, your teacher for example and then the lovers it is a the chariot it's a very nicely done deck and this is the strength card it is a deep deck and i saw the images in many uh, before i don't think I saw it maybe like two or three times on channels, but not much. But I like the idea of these uh, new decks. Uh, it's a modern deck and uh, it is uh, a diverse deck, as I, but in, not in an intrusive way. I love this sun card and then the judgment. It is a very easy to read with, but it is a deep deck. Look at this one, the two of ones and the three of ones it's really like uh, every day uh, the the title is uh, very um uh, it rings a bell it's the everyday enchantment tarot it's like you you can look at this six of ones like you can uh, you, this is a deck that you see the things that you are doing your friends are doing your parents it's a deck that you see um everyday people in so i really find it a very deep deck and it's a very good reader it gives good reads i cannot say that i worked with it deeply as i told you i worked maybe a couple of times i tried to uh, read the titles uh, to work with the i read i mean the first uh, nine uh, cards uh, in the book to explain the measures but i i i went through the cards i find it really uh, talks about everyday life it is it's a nice approach 
and uh, anyone can read with it. It's good for beginners. Uh, it's good for those people who like uh, modern decks. It is a modern deck. But I myself, I prefer the older decks, the vintage decks more. I like the energy of the Fae uh, more. So it's not one of my favorites, if I might say, but it's a beautiful, beautiful deck. So that was the last deck I'm sharing with you. It's the Everyday Enchantment Tarot. And uh, it's a nice deck. And now I showed you my latest 10 decks that I purchased. Um, I hope you liked my video. I hope you found something that you would like to buy and, uh, and purchase. So if you like my channel, please uh, subscribe to the channel, like and share my video. And uh, thank you so much for watching and bye.